Good whatever time of day it is whenever you're watching this everybody. It's Star Trek models and props review show things and stuff. The, the thing where I do the thing. Anyway, today we've got the Thunderbolt Fighter from Alliance. This is one of my Holy Grail kits that I've always wanted. Love the Thunderbolt. It's so, well, thundery and lightning-y with the, with the things and the stuff and the and the engines and the sleekness and awesomeness. So we're going to check this out. Um, got this from one of my other prop making friends. Let's start out we get a nice set of directions printed on big long paper. Um, there's no painting instructions or anything. It does come with uh, marking decals uh, but it doesn't come with decals for the red stripes but that's okay. Those would probably work better as paint anyway. And we got, oh, well, 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 there we go. Uh, showing how to put on the thrusters now. And here it tells you to glue them into whatever place you want them to, but it looks like they're just on rings. So I'm going to see if I can make them movable and maybe like lock in via magnets or something so they stay in position. Uh, we'll see. I'd rather not glue them because I'd like to be able to switch it back and forth between space mode and then atmospheric mode, which is that with the wings folded out. You can see there. So should be interesting. I mean it looks looks basic enough. Like that ring you slide the ring on, then you slide the engine piece on, and it looks like it should be able to swing around as far as I can tell. So we'll find out when we come to uh, assembly on that guy. So pop it open. I've been through so everything's not as it was, but we have two nice uh, upper and lower wing sections. Let's see if you can see details. Some nice scribed panel lines. Showing some little uh, rivet screw detail, screw hole details, whatever you want to call it panels, little vent style material there, or detail there. Uh, a little more. I don't even know if that last part was in, in camera whatsoever. But uh, there you go, that's that. And we've got a Ziploc with the engines, the main engines. Now it always was interesting to me that the engines are, you know, right side up each time, or they're even on the bottom ones, they're not like, you know, flipped or anything. Um, but I guess it does have little thrusters on each side, so I guess it makes sense. So it's that very nice detail. I wonder if we can see that or if I take it out of that. There you go. You got little port details right there. And what do we have next? Uh, bag of Greebles. I don't know if I want to open this or not, if it's going to go all over the place. Um, well, I'll take a look at some of it. I guess it is an unboxing video, isn't it? Should unbag some of it. Here's one of the uh, rings that the uh, wing tines go on. And you can see this area gets uh, cut out. It's very thin resin. And... Here's the, whoa, oh no, the cockpit broke. Wasn't like that earlier. Oh well. Yeah, I think got jostled around in there too much or I shoved it in too much or something like that. But there's the cockpit. A little damage there, like, but I should be able to fix that pretty easily. Oops. That was probably my bad. Because it was fine earlier. And front engine cowling. There's a wing piece. Outboard wing piece. Uh, here's one of the little intakes that go under the wings, or the front of the intake. Uh, here's the little pulse gun. Ooh, that thing's cool. I hadn't actually looked at that yet, but it's got a lot of detail on it. Little spike thingies coming off of it, and all the all the holes. 
pretty nifty. Uh, here's another uh, engine tine. No detail on the back side. Looks like that little piece gets taken out. Uh, more wing pieces. Here's another uh, wing disc, whatever you want to call it. Uh, another cowling. Not sure which side or um, if it's front or back. I believe these are the front uh, engine pod thruster details all on one piece of resin. You just cut them out and get rid of the excess resin. And oh, there we go. Got our little ejector seat section. Looks pretty good. This needs a little bit of cleanup. Oh, what else? There's there's part of a there's the other part of the cockpit that I broke off. Oops. Hopefully it'll be all right. All right, and oh, let's do this piece. Here's the main hull of it. Now the gun like fits over this section right here, or at least the gun housing, I guess. And then you've got your uh, let's see if I can put it together without smashing it. Wouldn't that just be outstanding? There we go. So there's that. I have it all kind of fit together. Let's see how big it is. Uh, this is 172nd scale. The Ravel, is it Ravel, Monogram, whatever. The other one, the regular Star Fury, I think it's Ravel. Um, it says it's 172nd scale, but it seems a little big. The pilot's like a lot bigger than what I think goes in here is a 72nd scale pilot, so, but I'm not quite sure. It might be right. I think I read it's a little big, but I'm not sure. So. There's that. We've got another bag with some larger pieces. Uh, here's the main gun cowling. This fits on like that. And stick the gun in there. Yeah, let's try this. Maybe this, is, maybe this will work better. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. Lots of nice detail. Nice detail. There we go. Nice detail put on there. So there's that. And I think this is the back of the main fuselage. And a couple of the intakes with some interior detail that will go in the... or be visible under the cowlings. Well... There. No, that's not it. Well, one of them. There we go. So I'll cut out that middle section, and then that'll fit right in there, and you'll have some little grid detail, grill detail. And what else in this bag? There's a little cap that goes on the back of the top wing. And our little engines. Just a little bit of flash, nothing too bad to clean up. There's that, but I think that comes off anyway. There's some various bubbles here and there, but nothing too difficult to clean up. Uh, we have a nice generic disc base. Didn't find a rod in there or anything. And that's about it, other than our little decal set. Um, get a lot of marking decals. It's also not a decal placement guide with the instructions, so I guess I just have to use uh, online references. Uh, looks like they included some replacements. These ones didn't, these two didn't print correctly, I guess. She got an eagle head and then a, the shark mouth, which I think the shark mouth is the one they usually 
had on the show, I think. Or apparently not at all. That one looks like the... Uh, what's the episode? Severed Dreams. Severed Dreams version where it first shows up. I think. I don't know. They get that shot where they're flying over and they're bombing Mars. Does that one have teeth? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. So yeah, that is the Alliance 172nd scale Thunderbolt Star Fury. Uh, again, one of my holy grail favorites. It's just, ah, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I wish, you know, an ultimate fantasy, you know, Bondi gets the Babylon 5 license out of some kind of bizarre temporal inversion, whatever. But can't you, like, they did this on the, like, regular Star Fury in the way they've been doing their Star Wars kits. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that just be awesome? Oh, just, uh, just, yeah, yeah. And maybe have like an add-on so you can do the, not badger, because apparently the one, the two-seater one isn't a badger, that's a different one they were going to use for in the beginning. It's that other one, that the two-seater one with like the mini guns on the back that you only see like once or twice. But apparently that's not a badger. The Ancients of Gaming screwed that up, apparently. That's the story I read. But uh, hopefully you could do like that one. Um, and just all those different variations have the little missiles under it and everything. You could do a Psycor version, an Earth Escort version, and the, uh, all the different uh, B5 uh, pilot versions. And, uh, I'd buy like 60 of them. So yeah, anyway, like I said, Alliance... Thunderbolt fighter. I think it retails for like $85 um, on federationmodels.com. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking one up if you like the Thunderbolt because they are they are just so awesome. Add to your 172nd scale fleet. And as far as I know, this is the only company that makes a Thunderbolt. I th there might be a 1144th scale one. And of course, there's the teeny tiny Agents of Gaming uh, version, which apparently you can still buy. They're, they're on eBay, but apparently the guy who owned it or whatever still sells all those minis on amazon or at least a bunch of them so you can still go get thunderbolts and omega class destroyers hyperions all that stuff someday i'd like to do a really nice omega class all lit you know with fiber optics for the little um antennas and have like a rotating section or something it's a, it's a fantasy it's a fantasy i'd probably never do it or get around to doing it but uh, as you can see here, of all these things that I've actually finished, so, <laughs> but that'd be so awesome. I think I saw somebody do a lighted one, maybe. I don't know if it had a rotating section or not, but I don't know. It'd be sweet. And I know there's a couple Omega kits out there, um, and you can buy those on Federation Models and probably a couple other websites, but, uh, but yeah. So yeah, Thunderbolt Fighter. Um, and I just got another Star Fury as well so i'm going to be doing a black omega but i don't want to do it in like black black i want to do a metallic black but i don't want it to be that like black or the you know metallic where it's like sparkly like glittery i want it to be like sheeny smooth metallic i don't know we'll see it might i found an automotive paint i liked but when i looked at it up close it seemed pretty sparkly so it might be like an all clad silver and then with a black clear on it or something i don't know and then little black panels because it seems like they were shiny but then they had like i don't know various panels were matte or flat black or whatever so but yeah thunderbolt fighter anyway thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time